today and I might start on an art trade. We'll see what my energy levels are. There's really not a whole lot under commission left, so I hope my energy lasts like it should, because I'll be upset otherwise. Sorry, you, you, you can probably hear like the very light popping of my wrists and knuckles. <laughs> Gotta get them joints moving. How is your morning going, Dresden? I hope it is a good one. So far, nothing wrong at least. That's good. That's good. Neutral is good sometimes. Alright, let's switch screens. Let's get to business. You. You. How big do I want to be today? Yeah. Hi, Sarah. Sarah, last night I had a dream that it was you, me, and a miscellaneous third person were playing a d, &D game where we were all old man wizards. Your wizard had a blue cloak. It was really good at playing a specific instrument, which I don't remember what it is. Wizard. My wizard was. Your wizard is not that one. Not my dream, it wasn't. My, my with dream wizard was a, an artificial blonde old man who was also gay and was really bad at playing the cello. I don't remember who the third person in our party was, but they were also. A wizard. Aw, oh, cute. I want to say the third wizard in our party was Fluff, but I, I legitimately can't remember.
Dresden, if you can hear me, I have a suggestion for this coat. There's like the spine being pattern protrusions on the arms that were a carryover from the original coat design, but with the um, gear-like skull shoulders and the new cuffs, I think it would be good if we change those to like the big zipper. That is up to you. I just think it looks a little um, clunky or differently shaped for this coat. I sure man. Something in my eye. <laughs> Oh, I forgot to take my vitamins today. Fuck. That's fine, I'll worry about that later. Miss Strong Dresden, I assume you did not hear my question about the coat, but if you are busy, we can assess it later. Uh, I was saying that the, like, spine bone pattern on the coat arms 
looks a little clunky when it's combined with the new cuffs and the um, new skulls shoulders. And my suggestion was to just take them off and replace them with like the uh, long zipper along the sleeves. Do you think that is a good idea or would you like me to stick with what we have? Sorry, that was way too loud. I just lightly tapped my desk with my tablet pen. <laughs> it's up to you! <laughs> it's up to you! It's in your man's! You know what, I'll see how it looks. We're gonna see how it looks. Sherman must put his two cents in. He has a lot of opinions on the matter. I'm burning some incense in my room, and it's making me want to sneeze. That's not usually a problem for this kind of incense, but I guess the smoke has just gone right up my nose. Zipper okay. Zipper opinions. It is okay. Is it better or worse than the bones? I still have both. Ah, you even get the hug. The zipper looks a little better. I think so too. It's a little neater. It's neater for this uh, 
immigration in the country. How are you doing today, Kiwi? I'm sending you strength. I have been okay. I've had a lovely birthday this past Saturday. And I was gonna have my uh, Twitch stream birthday celebration this coming Saturday, but there's a big global protest that day, so I'm gonna switch it to Friday. I gotta make um, a little advertisement post that I'll probably go up on Wednesday. So I'll worry about making that later. I'll probably be playing Animal Crossing on my birthday stream. And also later in the evening I'll open some Pokemon cards. I don't have enough Pokemon cards for like an entire dedicated stream, so it'll just be like a 30 minute segment tops. I'll have to see when Cory is available because I cannot tap Pokemon card opening without Cory. Sure, man. Come here, buddy. Come here, buddy. Come here. Come here. Ugh. I got a Sherman. Huh. Shermie, 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 Shermie. Shermie, 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 Shermie. What is Shermie, Shermie? <laughs> the padding sound in my mic sounds a lot more aggressive than what's actually happening. Shermie, can you get off my tablet? I'm trying to work. You are such a big help, I know. Thank you so much. No, don't lay down on my tablet. You can sit on my shoulders, that's okay. Set up there. There we go. Maybe the hands on my shoulders now. Dresden, art thou still present? Or have you gone for errands? I have another coach question. Yes, my shoulders are a perfect spot for Sherman. He has left me. Oh, could you? All things considered, I'm having a lovely day. I, um, the past, like, four or five times I've streamed, I ended up ending a little earlier than I normally would like to because of how badly I wanted to play Maple Sword, not Maple Sword, uh, Animal Crossing. Um, and I counteracted that today by starting the day with Animal Crossing, so I got it out of my system. So I won't be tempted to play it later, because I already did it. Life hacks. I'm so smart. I'm a genius. Just run around doing my Animal Crossing daily routines.
and then I'm done. Hydrate. Okay. I have leftovers to eat tonight from one of my favorite restaurants, so that's also fun and exciting. If I finish this uh, commission in a decent amount of time, I'm going to start on an art trade that I'm doing with Lord Dragon. Because he, uh, we're doing a trade where I'm making a couple of character designs for him, and in exchange, he has made me an Animal Crossing version of Bull, which has already been finished modeling. I think he's lost a rig it, but it is so gorgeous. I'm so excited. I need to find, like, some free, not free, but, like, uh, ripped. Animal Crossing assets to see if I can make, like, throw redeems for Vignon. So, like, if, if somebody presses it, a bag of bells and some fossils or something will fly in my head. I love Animal Crossing. I, I believe Dresden has left for Aaron, so I took the executive decision on what my question was going to be. I was going to ask about uh, the coat trim, but I think I think it's fine. I still need to play Drawn for Life 3 at some point. I want to really bad, but it's... Oh, maybe I'll do that on my birthday too. I'll get through some Animal Crossing and then I'll switch. We'll see what the vibe is. Hi, welcome. I am doing pretty good. How are you doing? same day, and I said on uh, my last public post that I'm not going to be putting up full previews of cards anymore for a while so that I can possibly incentivize people to check them out on Patreon, and I gotta tell you that it's so hard, especially when I'm really proud of stuff that I've made and I want to show it 
but also I need money. The struggle. I gotta figure out how I want to post card previews, like how do I want to crop them so you can see a little bit of the card and get an idea, but not too much of the card. Tough choices. After some boots. Who's calling me? Who has left me a voicemail? Spam! Woo! Let's hear for spam calls! Woo! Almost done with the lines. It's our first stream in a long time where I started the stream not feeling crazy sleepy. That's usually my normal. What's up with that? I feel fine today. It's crazy. Maybe because I started my day with Animal Crossing and I got my brain gears moving. Legitimately might be it.
I have a fun thing happen on my birthday. Um, first of all, my birthday was this past Saturday and it was on a full moon, so that already had some sort of energy to it. And the weather was beautiful. It was perfect temperature and pretty windy. And that, uh, that day we went out for lunch with some local friends. Said friends got me a Nosferatu figure, and I love him dearly. He's so scrubbly. And then after lunch, my brother was like, you know, I kind of want to get something frozen. And I'm like, yeah. So we all, we all, we, uh, not all of us, but my housemates and I go out for ice cream. And we pull up to this ice cream place, and we get out to go order at the window, and right there on the concrete, sitting right in front of the ice cream shop, is a crisp, fresh, $20 bill. Like, there's no tip jar outside, and this could not have blown out of a tip jar. So, free ice cream. <laughs> Our ice cream total was $19.75, so we got free ice cream and a quarter. What a, a blessed full moon birthday. some friends in Sarah's server, which was also nice because that's my favorite movie. So I got my hair cut this past Friday, so I feel clean and fresh. My hair is getting way too long. Visually, it's fine. Like, I like how my hair looks when it's longer, but I can't stand the feeling of it after a certain point. If it's touching my face and touching the back of my neck, it makes me feel icky. So, getting it cut was very nice for the senses. I had a coupon for my birthday too, so that was also nice. so absurd, only I am gonna like it. But, my birthday came, and my energy level said, actually, all you wanna do is play Animal Crossing. You're not gonna draw, actually. 
So I was like, okay, <laughs> that's fine, I guess. Someday I will draw more self-indulgent things. One loop left. One loop goofy. There's a bird yelling outside. I think a blue jay, maybe. Also, I mentioned this on my, um, Twitter and Tumblr post for this stream, but I finally hit 200 followers here on Twitch. Yay! They are! And for some reason, my hand is a little shaky. I've only been having that problem with the boots. I don't know what's up with that. You're so valid. In this case, it works out well since they went with like the uh, gear mount skulls on the shoulders. I think thematically it fits pretty nice.
I have a Pokemon OC where I didn't know exactly what I wanted to do with her shoes, so I ended up giving her something that might looks like it was from Sonic 2. Sonic 2, oh, 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 wait. Also, not the number two. Captions. They make it confusing. I'll show her shoes here in a second, I still like them. Gonna get clean lines first try. Uh, uh. He thinks I did. <laughs> that always feels good. Save. So you can see her Sonic has shoes. There. There you go. Those are fun. Nice boots. You got some nice boots. It really does. Sonic shoes go hard. Alright. Beat man. Drizzin, I know what color to make his hair and eyebrows, but what color would you like his skin to be? Yeah, <laughs> it is difficult. You want me to just see what, like, I can, I can get something close to what his, like, fuzzy self is and make it look natural.
you close to the eyebrows? That is fair. Let's see. Yeah, <laughs> this is the biggest unknown in this design. Adjust the skin tone after if it's not fitting. But I'm gonna take the, I'm gonna take a small BRB break to go to the bathroom and then grab a small snack. He tied me over until dinner, so I will attend to his hair in a moment. Be back.
company. My apologies. I have a snack now. Fruit snack crinkles.
wonder how my shampoo and conditioner is going to taste. Probably a lot. Yeah. It's meant to be. Bless me. Thank you. It was a sneeze. You are correct. Incense and it's making me a little sneeze at you, which is weird because this kind doesn't normally do that to me. That's the only thing I could consider. I could conceive that's making me sneezy.
ist auch nicht schlimm. Ist. Yeah, I, I know. I'm aware. <laughs> I had now it's going to be the sneeze, at least. Or at least I try to. President, if you're still with us, does the skin still look fine with the rest of it? Decide later you want to change. I can definitely do that. But as a placeholder, if it looks fine, we'll keep it like that. Hugs all around. to see you.
for his uh, stiffy new suit. I, I'm gonna stick with like his general color scheme of his main outfit, but I'm gonna switch things around a little bit. I think we're gonna see. The liner wasn't perfect. No, there's a tiny little bleed on the thumb. Ow! Ah! Alright, it's fixed. <laughs> So let's see what color I can do for the tie. That's not bad. Different grace. No. I'll leave it like that for now unless I find a different a different, better color. Let's see, solar app of vacation. Let me do that real quick. Thank you. Alright, y'all can stare at him for a second while I go do with Etsy. Absolutely. I would love to see.
decisions. Let's turn out today with how many of you are. I still have a lot in here. Spirit, we can fight, we, we can fight Twitch together. Oh no! I'm sorry I did that. I'm so rude of it. Nice of y'all to pop in. I'm working on a commission for Dreads and Dragon here in the chat. your stream. I'm sorry I couldn't jump in. I have work. This is work. Considering playing those myself on stream at some point. I don't know if or when I'll do that. But hopefully I can join on the next one. In your next stream. You're so correct. You should see if there's any, uh, fun mods. Uh, if, are you playing on 
computer or through a console. Because there might be some mods you can put in. I think there's actually like an in-game cheat code to change Spyro's colors. If you want to turn them blue or something, you can look at those up. Thank you for popping in, Misu! Yeah, hold on. Uh, crit, let me Google something real quick, because there's like the in-game cheat codes. Yeah, you can turn blue! <laughs> okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna link this to you. Let me find our DMs. Alright, there you go. Now next time you can be blue. Or any other color you want. There's a lot of options. The blue is the blue is really nice. It almost matches your colors like perfectly. It's pretty crazy. All right, Dresden. Let's see what you said. Well, I gotta look at these on my phone. It's too much for my screen. Might be green for Palestine. Good call. Oh yeah, some of these characters you sent here were sent for the refs for this commission. Fascinating. Good stuff, Crit. Okay. What color for boots? In boots. Thank you, Dresden. Super zoomed out. Ha 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 ha. He did it. Ho ho ho. Um, uh, let's see. Where's your time? I think that's a little more intense. Too intense. for an accent. Correct, you that's... Um, let's see. Oh, I want some of the gold on the accents too. But which ones?
Lyrics. Lyrics be gone. That might be good on the bottom of the shoes too, hold on. For the most of it. Mmm, that's delicious. At least I think so. Treasure, what do you think of this delicious? What do you think of this delicious? He looks great in a suit. Of course, he probably looks great in everything. So many. And since you have the new base for their regular forms, the possibilities are literally endless. <laughs> yes, Crit! Yes! Alright, Trace, it's time to info dump. Crit, this character is an offshoot of Eggman. He was an OCified. some pictures of him up here in the corner. Let me move. Yeah, not that thing. That was 
Check that out. Check that shit out. Wow, 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 This is the coolest shit on planet Earth. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? There you are. Okay, sit down. He has my favorite OC origin story of all time. Everybody and their mother has an OC that's an offshoot of a canon character from something, but I think this is the best one. I've got a bunch of OCs that are offshoots of canon things, or like heavily canon expired. Expired! Inspired! <laughs> canon expired. I think mine that's about as dramatic as this one is probably my OC Blue, who was Marco from One Piece, and then I turned him into a Fishman. Fishman alien. You're so valid, Craig. And then I have, um, a couple- I have... One of my self-inserts for D&D is an offshoot of Renfield from Dracula. Visibly, you never know, but that's what their entire vibe is. I love making Dresden lore dump about this guy. I saw a post on Twitter the other day. That was like, um, somebody made a meme where it's a picture of themselves approaching an artist and the, the, the context is like bringing the same character to the same artist that you've commissioned 20 times for the same thing. And then, um, somebody quote retweeted that saying, um, listen, if you do this and you commission one artist for the same character all the time, chances are that artist has also grown attached to your character and that's definitely the case. With this set of characters that you've commissioned me multiple times for, I'm invested in them. Dresden, that moment was gorgeous. One of these days I need to go back and like, get a little clip compilation of that because our reactions were very fun. I have all my VODs posted on YouTube. So it's, it's there. It's there somewhere. Also safe crit.
I can't wait for you to run that either. I remember you telling me about that at some point. making wonderful time on this today. I'm going to be able to finish all the shading and then I can take a break to go make food. Of course, I knew I would make wonderful time on this. I was like over halfway done with the line art when I stopped on the other day. Ready? Question mark. Just in an astonishingly good mood and good energy today. And I hope I can make it last. I think having leftovers from my favorite restaurant is only gonna help. I hope it can be contagious. I hope I can share the good vibes all around. I hope you got your trigger finger ready for the next one. I know you have the information all up already. Because I'll be able to take info for it as soon as I'm done. And I'll even be able to start as soon as tomorrow. Because there are no other commissions lined up ahead of you. commission that was supposed to come ahead of you. Um, somebody messaged me during the strike for a commission that would have been a nice amount of money. And I was like, okay, I can send an invoice on Monday. And they're like, okay, cool. And then this weekend they had to cancel the commission. So that was a bummer. Yeah, I guys, in no rush. I know you are a busy guy. It was a character design with commercial rights, so it had like a bit of an extra fee on top of it that would have been nice to have.
Yeah, it's it's uh, somebody who's commissioned me before. People don't always go for the commercial rights. It's really not that much of a fee either, but it's just it's not in my pocket now. <laughs> I was looking forward to that. I still don't know how much I owe in taxes. My tax agent has not gotten back to me, and my birthday has come and gone, so I don't know. I wasn't able to do any crazy spending for my birthday because I don't know how much money I even have right now. Ugh. I hope it'll get back to me soon because I would like to have taxes dealt with. And off of my mind, please. Yeah, great, don't even worry. God, you're gonna be in Canada, which is so close yet so far. At least you're gonna be in the same land mass as me. <laughs> times I've had dreams that you and I hung out in real life. Like, I, I, in the dream, I just call you up and be like, hey, come over, and then you're there in two seconds, and I'm like, that makes sense, right? That's normal. You're definitely not across the ocean. It is quite a consistency amongst my sleeping mind. Do you know um, what time of year you're going to be in Canada? This year? Or next year? Okay, this year. That's not as, that's not as close as my brain thought it was initially. I might do have time for cosplay stuff. If it was in November, I would maybe try to actually come visit because I'm going to a wedding in New York. So it would not have been impossible to cross the border if I had a passport. But alas, it is not meant to be this time. If it wasn't, we would have definitely done that by now.
<laughs> Alright, guys, I'll give you a second. I'll, I'll adjust that. We'll see how it looks. Let me finish shading this part of his outfit color. Yeah, you need to do like a month long US road trip. Okay, let's change his eyebrows. As much as Florida sucks, it really does have a lot of fun things to do. I'm not counting, like, the amusement parks and theme parks, because I don't live close enough to those. But when it comes to, like, historical towns, nature parks, antiquing... It's got a lot of that, and it's really nice. If Florida's politics weren't the way it was, it would be a perfect state. Oh, I'm so glad to hear that, Craig, because boy oh boy, have I got a bunch of them here. We could also drive up to, um, if you ever came here, it's like a two hour drive north to uh, Savannah, Georgia, which is one of my favorite places on earth. It's a very good historical location. You love it. We also have, in, here in Florida, we have um, St. Augustine, which is the oldest settlement in the U.S. So it's the, I think it was one of the oldest colonies, and it's the it's the oldest still standing and operating colony. It's got a huge Spanish military fort on it that's super haunted. The St. Augustine Lighthouse is also super haunted. I did a ghost tour there, it was really fun.
Great data like going antique shopping. It's my literal favorite activity. Not even just buying antiques, just looking at them. Though I do end up buying a bunch of little trinkets and there's nothing I can do to stop that. And do tell. <laughs> um, anytime I go to an antique store, there's like a 90% chance that I'm gonna leave with something that can fit my pocket. Not, not like me stealing it, I'm talking about like object size. I am not immune to cute little trinkets. One of these days I gotta do like a random item show and tell on stream to show all the weird stuff I have. Weird, fun, and cute stuff. I have a shrine next to my desk. Not to anything specific, but it's just where I put things that make me happy. Um, and boy oh boy, there's a lot of things from antique stores on there. Small things that, um, it's almost a guarantee that I'll buy is if I find, like, a little horse. Not like a plastic toy horse, it has to be made of metal or carved out of wood. Um, another thing would be, um, little ducks. Same thing, carved out of wood. I like small birds. I have a really cool perfume bottle that's like slightly broken so it can't hold any more liquid but it looks sick as hell. There's a lot. I'll just show and tell, show and tell sometime. Maybe, maybe for my Friday birthday stream. I'm hoping for my Friday birthday stream to, like, last all day. So I'm thinking, like, I can fit a lot of different topics in there. I know at some point I'll be doing Pokemon card opening. I have to message Core to see when they'll be available. My, um... My last huge... Jobs I had with going antique shopping was around Thanksgiving. I was out of town visiting family, and my uh, my brother, sister-in-law, and I went to I think twelve whole antique stores over a long weekend, which is a lot. It was a lot, <laughs> and I uh, one of the stores had an entire cabinet full of uranium glass. Which, if you're not familiar, in the 1950s and 60s, radioactive materials were not really regulated because people didn't super understand how dangerous they were. Um, uranium was put into glass for, like, dinnerware and stuff because it looks cool. Um, that, we know that's not safe now, but sometimes you can find uranium glass at antique stores and it fluoresces under a black light, so that's how you know what it is without a Geiger counter. One of the stores we went to had an entire, like, sealed glass cabinet full of uranium glassware. And it was, like, lit up with black lights and fully labeled so people knew what it was. Um... Crit, I will be starting as soon as I have breakfast, so, like, around the same time today. Or maybe earlier, because I might do Animal Crossing to start, but when it comes to Pokemon cards, it might be 
you later in the evening, so I don't know if you'd be awake for that. Um, oh yeah, the radioactive things in antique stores are my favorite thing to hunt down. I don't buy anything because I'm not insane, but uranium glass is actually fine to like, it's, it's fine to own and put on a shelf to display. It's not gonna, it's not gonna kill you, but you shouldn't have it on your person at all times. Um, in a similar note, another radioactive thing you can find in antique stores that I found two of is radium clocks and watches. Uh, I believe it was in the 60s when they were made. Um, radium is, it's like a glow-in-the-dark radioactive substance, so they painted watch hands with it so you could read your watch in the dark. And, um, don't look up radium watches or radium clocks unless you want to see something horrific. Uh, because the poor women who manufactured those things did not fare well. Uh, I found two radium clocks on that trip where the wash face, the wash hands were painted with radium. And, um, I, I've read that the clocks that sit on the shelf are fine to own so long as the glass around it isn't broken in any way. Um, it's benign that way, but if it's like a wristwatch, do not. Do not ever wear those. It is genuinely dangerous to your health. Crit, probably somebody has. Like, I, I can't, off the top of my head, I cannot think of an instance, but that sounds like it would be really easy to come up with. <laughs> yeah, I found, I, I have pictures of them somewhere. I found two radium clocks. They were both very pretty. One of them was like really cheap. It was like $12 and it was super cute. And I was very close to buying it, but I decided against it because I got kind of icky vibes from the shop owner. Finishing up shading on this commission, and then I'm gonna take a little BRB break to reheat some dinner. And once I'm done with dinner, I'm gonna oops, I'm gonna work on an art trade for more dragon. Got a lot of dragons. It's dragon time! And I'll be doing an art trade for a dragon who isn't here, so that's still one in spirit. Message him and let him know I'm working on it. He might be at work. Aside from finding radioactive materials in antique shops, my absolute top favorite antique store feature is um, haunted things. Whether you believe in ghosts or not, there's a, I don't mind. Um, I believe in them and antique stores are always flooded with ghosts. Most of the time. It's like a coin toss. Whenever I go to an antique store, 
and it feels like particularly haunted, I will often ask the um, owner or whoever is working at the cashier station if any weird stuff ever happens there, and every time I ask it, the answer is yes. I don't know if she was sold an antique store. She might have been originally. I know that she, um, like her reputation came from a specific homeowner. I don't know when they got it. That might have been from an antique store. Yeah, that's, uh, that's on the list of haunted items I don't ever want to be near. <laughs> I have my limitations. Haunted dolls are a bad vibe, but they're a very common thing to be haunted. President, he's so close to being done. Look at this man's. I love him. He's ready for the red carpet. I'm so excited to reheat my dinner. It's not even anything crazy. It's uh, chicken skewers and white rice. But my favorite restaurant, I don't know what the hell they marinate their chicken in or any of their skewers, but it is so good. It is so good. Which prom did I use? There we go. Is that? Hold on. Oh, those cats are so nice. I mean, there's definitely worse things you can be haunted by. I think a ghost cat is pretty good. I don't have any haunted items either, specifically. Um, I, generally, haunted items aren't the best things to keep in your house. There are benign ones, but it's, uh, I, uh, you have to be really careful. There is this one haunted item that I wanted really to be bad. Uh, somebody on Facebook Marketplace was selling like a hundred year old, uh, like storage chest. And they said that it did weird things like make the clock, uh, run backwards and their animals were scared of it. Uh, but that's like all it did. So I was like, that sounds super fun. So I messaged them asking if I could have it. 
I was about to buy it, and they're like, oh, I'm sorry, we didn't mean to keep the listing up, we're actually keeping it. And I'm like, fuck. Breaking my heart. Breaking my heart for real. I wanted that thing so bad. I asked, uh, when they said it wasn't for sale, I asked if it still does any, any like, weird haunted stuff, and they're like, oh yeah, all the time. And then they did elaborate, and I'm like, why would you do this to me? This is all I want in the world, and you're depriving me. Speaking of haunted places, I don't know when I'm going to get to go, because I haven't been able to pay my taxes yet. Um, but when I know how much money I'm able to spend, uh, there's a haunted inn like 30 minutes away from where I live that I want to go to really bad. I want to spend a weekend there and do some investigating. Maybe interview some of the staff, do it proper. I'm, I'm forgetting what the, the place is called, but like, I'll definitely post videos of it whenever I get to go. I was gonna, I, like, I was gonna go on my birthday, but one, they were booked on my birthday weekend, and two, I again don't know how much money I have because my tax agent hasn't gone back to me yet, and it's driving me crazy. Ooh, nice crit. That sounds delightful. Thank you. I was mentioning St. Augustine, Florida. Um, next month we have a friend coming to visit and we're going to be going there. We're going to be going to St. Augustine for a couple of days and on our last night there we're doing one of the late night ghost tours of the really old Spanish fort. And I, I've seen like, um, I've seen like actual ghost hunt stuff for that place, I, I know the lore of the thing, and that place is rancid, um, spiritually, spiritually rancid, but I'm excited to go and experience it for myself, I hope it will go easy on me. Okay, try something, I think I'm done. Okay, I'm done. Okay, I'm done, I'm done. Whoops. Woo. Don't crash, don't crash. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine, we're okay, it's fine. Ha <laughs> ha 
<laughs> it wasn't the stream, it was Sai. I was saving and then the screen started going white and I was like, no, 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 no. Don't do that. Have a wonderful sleep, Crit. Thank you for coming in. I appreciate the raid. Fuzzies. Great. Thank you. 
I think I'm stuck. I'm uh, finishing in perfect time for food because I, I just now realize how hungry I am. <laughs> I can get files ready, that's not a problem. and I will have these files sent to you here in a minute after I get food made. Um, in the meantime, I'm going to be our beat. Enjoy all the selves to the music. Back in a minute!
gonna be right back. I'm gonna hang out here for a minute while I eat. Now let's kind of lobby for that. Give them my hands a rest. We're not gonna see anything on the canvas here for a minute. Beyond my throat. Beyond my throat. There we go. How's everybody doing? Anybody got anything interesting going on today? Or lately? I should tell Lord that I'm about to start on this thing. I might tell him that right now. What did you get? Nice! I don't know a lot about that game, but I do know about it. So I'm sure I'll be seeing things around about this story. Favorite food from favorite restaurant, heal my soul. Why is James Summerton trending on Twitter? Anybody want to see why that's trending on Twitter for me? Because I don't want to look into it. I don't want to know anything about him unless it's funny. Or anything new about him. I know plenty about him already. Just like everybody else who watched the video. Also, as usual, I have a Capri Sun with my dinner. Capri Sun sponsor me. I will keep asking until it happens or until I die. 
whichever comes first. The, um, the pack of Capri Sun that we got most recently has like a Nintendo partnership with it. This uh, Strawberry Kiwi Patch has Pikmin 4 on it. Indeed. It was, um, we bought was a pack of, like, three different boxes wrapped together. One was fruit punch, one was strawberry kiwi, and the other one specific cooler. All three of my favorite flavors, hell yeah. And they're all, up uh, each box was a different Nintendo property, so this, the strawberry kiwi box is, uh, Pikmin. The fruit punch box, I believe, was Mario Kart. And the Pacific Cooler was Animal Crossing. The next steps are sweepstakes. For Nintendo products. But you gotta go like online for a website to enter and I'm like, eh, eh, eh. That needs it. Um, um. <laughs> Thank you for looking into it, Dewey. I'm sure I'm gonna see every single one of my commentary YouTubers that I follow react to that later tonight. <laughs> Let me just go to Ace Popper Guys Twitter real quick to see if you're saying anything. No! <laughs> Hold on. He just made a tweet that said, Huh. H U H. My ha. Huh. There you go. I hope this proper guy comes out with like a video on his second channel. I 
about the response video because that would be really funny, but also he doesn't need to. Like, well, like he won. There's no. He doesn't need to acknowledge anything. He said what he said. But I do love the drama, so like I'd like to see something. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he, re he, re he made a tweet that just said, huh, and if it ends with that, that's the funniest thing on earth. Riffs, riffs, riffs. That was so loud. Jesus Christ, I barely tapped my bowl. What is up with that? <clears throat> All right, we're almost there. Excuse me. I love being able to press a button on the mic to mute myself whenever I have to make a gross coughing sound. Sometimes I can't press it in time. And for that, I apologize, but such is human nature. I got all of the refs for the first character ready. I have just a little... Well, shrink it up. I have just a little bit left of food, but I'm not gonna, like, shove it down my gullet. I'll save it for maybe a couple minutes from now. No, I hurt myself.
think I've never... I don't know how far I'm gonna get on this. I might... I, I want to at least get, like, the, um... Symmetry front-facing view sketch. super deep into this mixture today because it's going to be a lot. It's going to be a full turnaround ref like the other art trades I did for. Thank you. Uh, yeah, eyes on Symmetry Tool are definitely the hardest part. But it is a skill that can be learned. Thank you. 
I think tomorrow or Wednesday I'm gonna figure out how to work my um, capture card so that when I'm done doing art in my streams I can just switch to playing Animal Crossing for a bit before I tire myself out. That sounds like it'd be fun. some fake shorts so I don't get banned. Men's nipples won't get me banned. His arms might be a bit too long, let me fix that. Slightly too big for the canvas. I'm just shrink.
Okay, just black wings. Let's put those in a different layer. Even better, but still one open, one closed. Oh boy, this is going to be huge. Hold on. Alright, reps for this. I think I need to look at some actual wings. Usually I can bullshit wings pretty good, but today's not my day for that. Hold on. Okay, I have a rough wings now. Okay, let's try that again. I need the canvas to be taller. Shit. For a rough outline, that's pretty good. It's pretty, pretty, pretty.
Take a little screenshot. You sent to the world. See? My dinner might have been slightly too much food on this eve. I need my housemates on my last bite. I'm gonna finish my Capri Sun. Beautiful. Come back to it. Okay, let's hide his wings for now. Work on his outfit. Hold on, I'm, I'm actually gonna be here for like two seconds while I actually physically go ask my housemates if they want my food because I think they're away from the computer. What's up, get... Yes, my brother wanted it.
every time somebody uses Book Taco, like the first time on a stream, it makes my stream lag for a second, and it's so funny. <laughs> also, hi, Lord. I need a jacket. Hold on. We don't need lyrics. We don't need lyrics. I don't know what's safe to listen to. There we go. <laughs> You're catching me. Oh, 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 oh. I got a commission done earlier, and I have currently nothing else in my queue until later today. So perfect time to start on tree. That's good. I've seen a couple people say that, like, business was pretty slow during the holiday season, which was the case for me as well. But the last month or two, things seem to be turning up a bit more, which is, you know, par for the course. Pretty nice. Chain's scarf is going to be very roughly sketched because I, I'm. That's gonna take brain power outside of the sketch zone. I can make that look neater though. 
Mind if I take that off the symmetry for this part? I mean, you say that, I don't have one, but there are, like, brushes that just draw chains for you. I don't know if there's one of those for painful side, though. There probably is. I'm probably just dumb. The chains will look much better when they're lined, I promise. This is big bullshitting. Safe. Okay, let's stretch. Let's stretch, let's stretch. Are you gonna need any more details than like a um, front side and back view? Like any close-ups or anything? Also, I don't think they said what his eyes look like. Does he have special eyes or are they normal? Just normal. What color? Is he a blue-eyed bitch? Whatever matches. I'll see. I'll see what I can do. His wings need to be a little higher up. Charmin is yelling at me.
see you later, Frozen. And thank you, I will check that out after stream. Huh? Yes. Are you able to call my door stopper? This is so good. My brother opened the door for Sherman, and Sherman just stood there, looking like an idiot. Hey, buddy, come here! Come here! Come here, Sherman! Can we have some Sherman time? Come here, baby! I said, good boy, come here. Oh, you're so heavy. You're so heavy. Hey, buddy. This hair will also be much neater once it's lined. This is the roughest sketch on earth. Music stopped. What do I listen to next? That's the wrong link. Um, listen to Kirby 64. I'm not gonna re-sketch the wings, those are easy to just flip later. to know the things that you need and the things that aren't necessary at this point. Which I think is great. 
We get each other. We have an understanding. Oops. <laughs> Watch out, you're gonna speak it into existence. Haha, <laughs> JK, I'm boss. as if that's easier. Don't you have, um, don't you have a character that you've done bird wings on already? Yeah, couple. Are you gonna do what I think you're gonna do and copy and paste the wings? Because I think you would be so valid and honest to do that. Side view definitely doesn't need wings. Ooh, neat. I'm excited to see how that goes then. I need to send you another Digimon card, work in progress, here in a bit, because I meant to send you some and I think I forgot. Let me check. Yeah, I definitely forgot. <laughs> I checked with DMs and I'm missing a few. Yeah. 
I'll spend it right now before I forget. Thank you, Lord. Hi, friend. It's going well. I finished a commission a little bit ago, and then I had some dinner, and now I'm working on an art trade for more. Doing a little, um, character design slash 3D turnaround for him to reference off of later. How are you doing? What is the vibe today? Oh, I'm sorry, what are you working on? You're doing great, I, I believe in you. <laughs> Just the color slider. Is that the same issue you were having the other day on stream? I think I was watching for that. Damn. Persistence of problems. Oh, Sherman's laying down on the bed now. He just wanted to be in here with me. I think switching to the side profile for these is always the hardest part. Ooh, neat lore. Holding my hand out, may I see it? May I see it?
Or I decide if he has a flat ass. If I am incorrect, let me know. That information was not provided in the Google Doc, so I am feeling in the gaps myself. I decided his ass is flat. Flatter than a washboard. Yeah! I love being right. Also, it's not super apparent in the sketch. I have his, um... His outfit is like a robe with sleeves. So the sleeves dangle around the waist. I hope that is okay. What did I just press? What did I... Okay, there is. Works for you. Great. He's got a flat ass, but you can have a little bit of move. Just a little. <laughs> Just a little blue message for you. Everybody deserves to have some. Just a tiny bit. This is going pretty fast. I might be able to sketch the other one tonight, too. Get both the sketches out of the way. <laughs> Lord has sent me pictures. I'm rubbing my dirty eyes all over them. Oh, this looks sick. It's amazing. Delicious, delicious. Hey, how big is this file? Reasonably sized. About to make it worse. <laughs> I just add a whole bunch. What if I add even more? <laughs> you did it! I'm so proud of you. <laughs> I opened the door and I find. 
body sitting on my porch like a wet puppy in the rain, beg, <laughs> begging for me to draw a symbol. I say that, but I fully offered it, unprompted, every time. starting the stream for once, I'm in a oddly good mood. Having a lovely day. I'm just not gonna put the chains on the side view for the sketch, I can do that later. Instead of sketching the second guy, I don't want to get ahead of myself. When I finish this, I'm going to check what my vibe is, but I might work on an adoptable. Stinker, you think you can just come into my house and say hi? Do you have... Do you have 
two Twitch accounts. Hold on. <laughs> Un uh, stream avatars that has your old name on it still. That's really confusing. Lori, you're so valid. You deserve to have that one. You worked really hard on it, and it's super cool. I know you changed your name. It's just that I see your new name and on stream avatars, your little uh, yellow Kirby over there is still your old name, so I don't know when that changes. What if you switch avatars and switch back? Maybe that'll fix it. the back view outfit here in a second. I gave him a fun little uh, wave or fire pattern, I don't know what to call this, but I have it um, facing the wrong way in the back view. That is weird. I don't know why stream avatars wouldn't update. in the line stage. There's no point in fixing in the sketch stage. This is not finalized. The sketch doesn't need to be perfect. I don't need to do that. Hey, check that out though. That's all the sketches. His views with wings will be like scooted down here. I will, I will figure out the orientation. Lore, our brains are just instinct, okay? There is, there, there's, there's a little beam going between our brains, sharing information. And also a comprehensive reference. <laughs> you get the idea across, I can get it. Thank you for hanging, Kiwi! I'll see you later! Monster, monster communication, so true. <sighs> okay, let's see. Do I have mental capacity to keep streaming? and work on it a job, or do I want to watch a show off a of stream while I drop? Let me put these sketches where they need to go in here and on the side. because it didn't work. Are 
but you're glad you have me in your life, aren't you? You temporarily ruined my 200 follower count. How could you do this to me? <laughs> Change into something else real quick. No, uh, why did I change into Kazimon? How? Why would I do that to you? That didn't fix it. That's so weird. Fix that yourself. <laughs> I don't know why that happens, because I, I had a different Twitch name, and it changed just fine whenever like, on Street Avatar and Swimmer, I changed it. I don't know what to say about that. passes out. Side for a second. 
I am also taking a stretch break, yes, correct. A good thing to do. <laughs> you can't tell me what to do, you're not my mom. Some emoji adopts. I, I finished one already, but I hate it because that's for patrons only. Um, I can at least show you what the prompt for the next one is. The, this is the three emojis for the next adoptable I'm gonna draw. You're not my dad! <laughs> uh, like, I could also work on a Digimon Tarot card. Oh no! I'm having that problem of too much motivation and not enough focus on one thing. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. Okay, I think I think when my brain is too full like that, that is a sign that I should probably take a break. So let me save. And after stream, more I'll send you a screenshot of your guy, so you can have that for yourself. Let me in. Let me in. Let me in my chat. Okay. Let's see who can we raid! Is Nessie in love with him? He seems like he'd be, like, he seems like he'd be Nessie's type. Oh, that's great. Okay, let's see. Showtime! Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> I have excellent timing. You fucking kill me. <laughs> oh, well, I haven't I haven't even picked who to raid yet. I think I'm gonna raid into Kata. Because I haven't raided it into her channel in a while. She's doing some 3D stuff. How are you doing today? I'm doing alright. I played a lot of Persona and read a full volume of Dungeon Meshi. I'm so proud of you. What'd you get done today? I finished a commission for Dresden. Um, and then I also finished a, um, a character 3D turnaround sketch for more. But just wow. the sketch. I, I have to still line and color it. And then after stream, I'm either going to work on an adoptable or work on that uh, next tarot card I haven't decided yet. Mm hmm For the last couple of streams, I, um, I would end earlier than I would want to because I would have the horrible urge to go play Animal Crossing, like I'd die if I don't play it. <laughs> Which um, one? The, the newest one. Oh, New Horizon, okay. Yeah. Um, I, I thought about starting a new game on New Leaf, but I think the lack of convenience things that New Horizons has would drive me insane. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, I, like it's still, it still might happen, it just hasn't yet. Um, but I counteracted that insatiable desire today by starting my day with Animal Crossing, so I got it out of my system before the stream. <laughs> <laughs> I did all my daily run around stuff, and then I'm like, okay, I did it. <laughs> I don't have to play it later. <laughs> <laughs> Your daily chores. Gotta, gotta pull the weeds, I gotta get the fossils, I gotta go get my fortune read. You gotta find all the nuggets in the rocks. Yeah. Smash all them rocks. But not all the way, because I don't want to kill my rocks. I I can't wait to see how deeply you disappear for a while more. Are you gonna play Dragon's Dog Marsh on stream or just like have it have it as a special thing for yourself? 
I feel there's like it's dragon... gonna be the second option. There's a Dragon's Dogma 2? Yes! Go look up a trailer right now! What the fu- You shouldn't have told me this. <laughs> Dude, I'm I'm deep in the in the Persona 3 sphere. I can't I can't immediately jump into Dragon's Dogma 2. Okay, hold on, let me see when it, oh, when it comes out. You got a month. You got a month. It comes out on March 22nd. Uh... Oh man, I can't believe it. No. <laughs> That's so many hyperfixations back to back. Dude, I'm, I'm like ping ponging right now between Digimon, Animal Crossing, Ghost Hunting, and Pokemon, and it's driving me insane. <laughs> That's a. At least two of those overlap. Yeah, I mean, they do. Uh, also, our game begin. That is also hyperfixation. Oh. Like, I, I want to draw everything and everything at once, just all of it, and it's. Damn it! Yeah, I'm surprised. I'm surprised, in the midst of all of that hyperfixating, you also requested wanting to watch Dungeon Meshi with me, because yeah. that that manga is already good, and the anime is by Studio Trigger with an intro by Bump of Chicken. Yeah, and I, I do still want to watch it. My, uh, I just haven't had the mental capacity for a new thing yet. Yeah, that, so no, bad. that's fair. It's so bad, my poor boy. <laughs> inside, uh, inside this helmet is a tiny little piece of flesh, and it is more on fire than the rest of my head. I thought you were gonna say there's a little hamster frantically scrambling around. I, I would say yes, except it's a rat. <laughs> <laughs> Frantic little rat just scurrying around. Your last space station has been Power World. I've seen you playing that endlessly. Like, I'll, I'll see in my uh, little DM section, you just have Pal World on your name almost every night. <laughs> yeah, that's been apparently the hot, the new hotness. <laughs> you, you have a sickness, you need help. That's me with Animal Crossing. <laughs> that's me with Persona 3. <laughs> it's about to be lower with Dragon's Dogma. Except he won't have a sickness, he will actually be dead. <laughs> yeah, he'll die. He'll be on his deathbed, and his soul will just transfer into the game permanently. Oh man. When when will they let us be the dragon of the dogma in Dragon's Dogma? Oh god, I fucking wish. I know. Cower cowardly of video games to be a medium that lets them freely create whatever they want, and they don't let us be dragons. That's also me in Animal Crossing. Like, can I please be an animal? <laughs> I know! Stop making me have to wear the really bad looking, like, headpieces to be an animal. Yeah. Oh, God. God, God bless Lord. This wrong. <laughs> you, you, oh no. Yeah, the, ad, <laughs> the Adderall hyper focus on that video game is gonna ruin you. You gotta go insane, go crazy, go play it stupid. It's gonna haunt your waking hours. Yeah, this is this will be my last raid before raiding the con up, but I I really hope someday in Animal Crossing they'll let you be an animal because I feel like I know it would be really crazy for customization purposes, but I think it would be really fun if they went like the Metopia route and let you draw your own faces and expressions. Uh I can see I can see that. I I don't know that I'd be super into it for that, but I, I can see that. I would go insane. Do you have any I know idea? you would, but we're we're not all we're not all gung ho about being able to draw or having to draw <laughs> our would, entire thing. If if it was implemented to have animals as your avatar, I would say that should be an option and not the only thing you have to do. Yeah. Like like um on the. Uh, main human model how you can draw face paint on and that's how you give yourself eyebrows as you draw your fucking eyebrows. <laughs> you have to literally draw your eyebrows on. Yes. I feel like they should, uh, they should have, like, the standard rotation they would have for, like, a wolf model. You'll have a set amount of eyes and colors and patterns, but you can have a third option to draw it yourself if none of it works. Yeah, I... I, I would be completely fine with 
having to sacrifice being able to wear like most of the clothing options if it means getting to play as an actual lion in the game. I'm fine with that. You mean no more pants? Not a problem. No pants, not a problem. That dress just reshapes itself into a shirt. That's fine. Not a problem. I don't care. I'm, I, I'm finally playing who I am. <laughs> if, if we lived close together and they had the um, option to draw on your facial stuff, I would, and they had the animals, I would offer to draw your sauna for you. <laughs> in perfect detail. I appreciate that, thank you. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I have to go watch ghost hunting shows or I'm gonna go insane. How how far in are you? How many seasons do you have left? I finished Ghost Adventures. Oh <laughs> wow, holy shit. <laughs> yeah, 27, 27 or 28 seasons of Ghost Adventures. And then they had like three or four spin-off series that weren't very long. Um, and then a couple of, like, hour and a half long specials that were not counted in the episode list, but are technically just normal episodes. Um, that's... that's yeah, I, way too I, many. It's bad. I, I don't recommend anybody do what I do. It's not good for your brain, it's not good for your soul. I have to do some serious <laughs> cleansing after being exposed to that much Zach Bagans. <laughs> That's horrendous. You were exposed to 27 seasons worth of Zack. 27 plus because of all the other shows. Yeah, 27 plus. The show I'm watching right now is a show that doesn't have Zack in it, but it is like executive produced by Zack Bagans. Um, oh no. Because he has his feet and everything. It's disgusting. <laughs> Don't say feet. <laughs> so the, there's a guy... Okay, this is the real last thing I'm going to talk about. Sorry, I'm on it. Okay. Um, there was this guy who, when he was like 15 or 16 years old, he won a video submission contest for Ghost Adventures. Um, and the prize for the contest was to be on the show for an investigation. Um, and it was really fun having him on there for that one episode. And then years later, when he got old enough, they hired him as a cameraman on the show. Which, oh shit! Yeah, I thought that was really sweet, and um, he he started out as just like an interview cameraman, a B-roll cameraman, but eventually he like actually started doing proper investigations with the whole crew. And Aww. then years down the line, um, he got his own show, and that's what I'm watching. Oh. Zach Bagans is uh is an executive producer, so it's like he's passing the torch on to him essentially, which I think is super sweet. That's so sweet. Oh my god, don't read what Wireframe just said. You have to move on. You have to raid. Don't read what they said. I can read that. I can read that. I can read that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's too late. That place is in the front of humanity. <laughs> <laughs> if I had the power to burn a single building down, that would be the place. Without consequences, I, feel... I should say. <laughs> Yeah, uh, I I was gonna say I I think I if you burn that place down, <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say I think if you burn that place down, it wouldn't be like legal consequences. I think it'd be spiritual consequences yes. for whatever you'd unleash. It would be, both. It would be yeah. legal and spiritual. That would be a problem. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I if I ever go to Vegas, I have to avoid that specific street corner like the plane. Because <laughs> just I've seen so many videos. Of other people investigating that place. I've seen Zach's own episodes filmed there. It is the most spiritually rancid place I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> Awful. There is uh, there is only one single item in that entire museum that I care about. It's Bella the Ghost's mirror. Mm -hmm. But I will never be able to get close to it unless I go into that building, which is never going to happen. Ever. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, did she get woozy in there? That does not surprise me at all. Everybody either gets woozy, passes out, throws up, or has something almost like a heart attack. It's so bad. It's so bad. And I know <laughs> I would also have something like that happen to me. Oh no. In the exact spot where other women have passed out, not surprising. <laughs> that place sucks. Oh, that's awful. I... Creed, if you're ever in the headspace for it, I have to send you some videos of that place. It's atrocious. 
Like I, I'm, I'm semi curious, but also I believe it's, you. Yeah, it, there's um, Buzzfeed filmed there once. I think that was the first time I actually watched somebody who's not Zach Bagans do a walkthrough there. Um, and that one was um, uh, that one immediately let me know that I never need to go there ever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, why I have some amount of sensitivity, and I get dizzy in certain antique stores, so I know if I go anywhere near Zach Bagan's place, I might actually catch on fire. I will look like this in real life. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Anti-Zach Bagan's rant over. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> yeah. I, I am experiencing peace. We have to. We, you have to raid. We as if I've been here the whole time. You have to raid. <laughs> I have to raid. Kana. Okay, everybody. Kana. Kana Fuyuko is a very sweet, greedy modeler. She's got a lot of fun energy. I hope you enjoy her as much as I do. Everybody, be nice to her, or I'll kill you in Minecraft. <laughs> Does that even work still? Isn't that- doesn't that not bypass anymore? I have no idea, but I'm still gonna do it. <laughs> Alright, fair. Okay, the race been crazy. Thank you all for coming. I had quite a, a full stream today, surprisingly. Um, I got a lot of work done. I'm proud of myself. Yay. Everybody, um, be sure to hydrate, get a snack, do your stretches, take your meds if you need to. Go take a nap! Go take a nap, why not? <laughs> Everybody take care of yourselves, or else. I love you all. Hail Satan. Good night. Dog dog. Dog dog. <laughs>